Sir, may I come in? Reese, any results on that thing I asked you to look into? Yes, sir. For starters, this bullet you gave me. Its shape and markings perfectly match rounds used by an experimental Gallian sniper rifle. I see. So Alicia really was shot by someone inside the Gallian force. So, any leads on who fired it? Yes, sir. It... Tell me, Kreese. The night before the shooting, records show Lieutenant Lanzip checked out the rifle. What? Valdio had the gun? Are you sure that's not some mistake? It's rare for a tank commander to ask for a sniper rifle, so the clerk remembered him. Sir, only two of those rifles exist right now. One is confirmed to be locked in the arsenal. The other was checked out to Lieutenant Lanzip and has yet to be returned. I can't. It's hard for me to believe, too. Valdio? It couldn't be. Hey, Faldio, you in? I guess not. Notes on the Valkyrian race. The anthropology of the Valkyra. Maybe he was reading up on the enemy. Hmm? This is his handwriting. Alicia must be made to awaken. What? Alicia must be made to awaken. No matter how much I try, I can think of no other way. I almost wish I had never joined them on that expedition to the Barius ruins. I'm convinced that the inner chamber was built to admit only Valkyra. But the door opened at her touch. That could only mean that the blood of their tribe courses through her veins. Still, I was shocked to find her bathed in that uncanny light that night in the field. Though I doubted my eyes, I never once doubted. That light was the Valkyrian blue flame. Ultimately, I had no choice but to accept the simple truth that Alicia is one of them. I'd already begun to question all I knew. The walls of the temple sanctum were inscribed with the Valkyrie's account of history. History as it truly was. We are all taught of the darks and calamity, and how their actions forever scorch the land. But this account told a different story. The Valkyrie invaded this land from the north, slaying the indigenous Darkson people as they came. Their grasp of Ragnite technology and the art of war were vastly superior. They trained the destructive power of Ragnite on the Darkson's land, burned it to ash, then had the gall to pass the blame for their inhuman deeds off on their Darkson slaves. Darksons have borne that stigma ever since, while the Valkyrie became godlike saviors. The victors simply rewrote the history books. The Barius ruins promulgate a lie to all but their own descendants as hard fact. Reading about the Valkyrie's power, the true face of these saviors, left me stunned. Yet at the same time, I cannot help but think of how useful it could be to us now. Since then, I've investigated every text and report on the Valkyrie I could find. They lead me to believe that at least a few scions of the Valkyrie must have survived to this day. All across Europa, these rare individuals live and die unaware of their own nature. But history has recorded rare cases of individuals who have awakened to their powers. 
Their stories share one common thread. All of them suffered grave wounds before awakening. If those accounts are correct, the blood of the Valkyrer stirs at the approach of death. Their power, having slept for thousands of years, bursts awake at one step shy of the end. Once awakened, if one of these individuals takes hold of the refined Ragnite arms of their ancestors, they make their mark on history as one of the Valkyrer of old. I couldn't stop myself. I stole the Valkyrian lance and shield out of the university archive. Supposedly their blood serves to amplify the Ragnite's natural power. I have no idea what science lies behind it. Perhaps it's a consequence of their origins in the Ragnite-rich northern regions. Regardless of the reason, the Valkyria's life force itself calls forth a reaction from the stone. The enemy Valkyria decimated our forces on the Nagyar Plains. I could not afford to stay my hand on account of ethics. I had the rifle, and I forced myself to use it. I shot her. I placed the lance and shield on her unconscious form. I was racked with insecurity and guilt, hands red with blood of my best friend's love. But now I know. The choice I made was right. Faldio! Hello, Lieutenant Gunther. Is something wrong? Faldio, where is he? Sir, Captain Verat just called him in. He left only a minute ago. Hit him. Faldio, I'm only going to ask you this once. Was it you who shot Alicia? Yeah. I shot her. There you go. Tell me why. Why did you have to shoot her? The people. Galia needed her. Now let me ask you a question. How else do you think we could have won that battle? If not for Alicia's power, Galia would have most certainly lost. I still can't. And not just this battle. I'm talking about Galia's future. How else are we supposed to survive, Welkin? Caught on either side by giants. It's Alicia. Our Valkyria. She's the only one who can protect us from them. Wrong. Our side gaining power won't end this war. All it does is escalate the conflict. That's enough. Listen to each other. You may both be right, but still, you're both very wrong. I don't claim to have the perfect answer either. However, regardless of the reason, attacking one of your own comrades is deplorable. By Galleon military law, I remand you to the stockade until further notice, Faldio. And you, Welkin. Twenty-four hours in isolation for engaging in fisticuffs. <laughs> Chapter 15, Citadel Girlendio. New skirmish, what is it? Ah, oh, windmill plaza. I'm sure this one's easier than this one. Anyway.
Thanks to the victory at Nagyar, our forces have pushed the enemy back to the border. The Imperials are currently holed up in the Citadel at Girlendio. Girlendio? A crucial checkpoint along the commerce routes tying Gallia to the east since medieval times, the pass at Girlendio had been fortified for ages. The existing structure was rebuilt as a modern fortress during the First European War, and its grounds were littered with the casualties of war. In the current war, it housed the Empire's command center, and now it stood as their final stronghold. What's our strategy for attacking the Citadel, Captain? Hmm. I still haven't received any details on our orders from above yet. Oh, stop your worrying, Verat! I came here myself to give you your orders! Urgh. General Damon? I'm honored, but why not just send a messenger? Your regiment really showed him up out there at Nagyar! In return, I'm granting you the honor of assaulting the Citadel at the van of the army! Sir? Here are your orders. There's a supply line running into the Citadel. We're sending a train car loaded down with explosives along it to blow us an entrance. The militia will run along the track ahead of it, flipping the right rail switches. Flipping rail switches, sir? This while dodging a hailstorm of bullets? That sounds like a suicide mission, sir. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the perfect challenge for your fearless crew. If we succeed here, the Empire will finally be forced out of Gallia for good. You'll pave the way for the real army. You got that, Farat? <sighs> Damn it. Another mission they don't have the guts to do themselves. Damn. Maybe. But it's a mission that somebody still needs to do. Precisely. As the General said, if we win, the Empire will be driven out of Gallia. Let this be our final battle. I'll await good news from the field. Dismissed. Well, it won't be the final battle, but whatever. <laughs>